this time on Street Rag Garage, selling the 1968 Volkswagen Camper. Well, the time has come to sell the camper. I have made nine other videos. If you are watching this one and haven't watched the other ones, go back and have a look at it and you can see exactly what we've done to this camper, where it started out and where it has ended up. Now, this is not something that you can jump in and drive to California, but it is now a good start for your project. When we bought this, it had been sitting for 15 years and was a total mess i mean everything it was disgusting it smelled bad it didn't run all sorts of stuff now it runs not great looks a hundred percent better than what it used to so we are just going to start with the exterior of the vehicle this is a 1968 volkswagen bus doormobile so it has a doormobile option i don't know if it came factory with this if somebody added this uh, I don't know if it was imported from Europe or what the deal is on that, but it's got a doormobile top on it. So it is missing the glass here. I have one glass. This is just a piece of plexiglass somebody put on there. The vent right there, that needs a new one. It has like one good vent on it. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, so you have to you have to do that. The body is fairly straight. I mean, it has some rust some rust some rust and it also has some rust and a little dent and some rust so basically we have uh, the back end here probably need what about six inches there there's a little bit of a dent in here so maybe all the way up to there I guess they make that section that you can just cut right in there if you want to do that i mean it has some rust there too so this has been replaced at one time and it still has rust on it you want to make it nice you replace it you don't care you leave it alone and you drive it so there's that you know it has a little dent here oh yeah we'll come back to that uh i have that light it has a little bit of body filler there uh that's not so bad the door is a little bit rough around the edges there's a little hole there let's go under this panel and yep we have rocker rust they sell that piece as well we'll go under it in a moment let's just close up that door and look at this rust so you know six inches about there this is panel is fairly solid uh, rust there so yeah we got we got rust issues definitely the floor pans have a little bit of rust there they're actually not awful this is a this is a Midwest so this is actually really good for the Midwest <laughs> you can see can you see that there's some there that's the bottom of the floor pan on one side and that's the bottom of the floor pan on the other side frame rail frame rail and uh yeah we have some dings in the front panel as well so i tried to come in here and pull out a few of them make it look a little bit better and uh other floor pan this one's a little bit worse but it could still be patched up dog leg got some rust there but and some there fairly solid that door pretty good ship I didn't look under it not bad not bad door so yeah that's uh that's basically the body there's some surface rust up on the top 
there and there, but it's still pretty good. So let's look back here in the engine compartment. So it has a 1600. So somebody swapped that out. Probably, I don't know, 71, 72. Uh, I think these had a 1500 in it originally on a 68. I can't remember, but it starts, it's missing a little bit. It still has some bad gas in it. Um, you can see the filter right here. You can see that. It's a little brownish. So it's still pulling some garbage out of the tank. And I had to pull the plugs and kind of redo them. And these got some rust in the where the battery tray and the opposite side. So definitely need a new battery tray. I just have a piece of wood over there right now. I'm definitely gonna need this panel. Well, not definitely, but probably you should do that at least. That doesn't latch. <laughs> this opens up and has rust there and rust there. So no secrets here. The bottom of this is in pretty decent shape. There's the other piece of glass. This is some extra carpet material that I uh, had left over. There's a, a gasket for that glass. That shuts pretty good. Let's have a look on the inside. So the inside has been redone. Quotes. I just did a budget friendly rehab on this interior. When I got this bus, everything, and I mean everything on the inside of this bus was disgusting. See like video one or two for uh, some details of what it looked like on the inside before and then you could really appreciate what it is now so this carpet what we have here is some indoor outdoor carpet from uh, I think Lowe's home improvement and it has a fresh OSB type board underneath it here we do have some rust that I patched with a sheet of metal that's probably about this wide it's just sheet metal screwed in covering a great big hole that's in there the rest of the floor pan is pretty good and you can see also see that episode where we put that metal in so you can see what it looked like before so that is basically a complete rebuild so the uh, wood was all rotted every piece of wood was rotted here so we had to go buy some more uh, particle board OSB I can't remember what I used replace this this board this board put the greased up the hinges this cushion that cushion came out of an RV this interior where was from cushions that we bought or we didn't buy but we got out of the same old Dodge RV and just recovered uh, recovered the plywood on there so the back panels the top panels and this door panel are uh, house paneling that we got from Lowe's again and we made with our leftover scraps a new frame for the jump seat here so this is original that's original but the rest of this jump seat is just a, a pattern put down what was left of the old interior the old seat drew some patterns cut it out put it all together boom we got a seat again the old one was i mean just garbage there was no saving that the front seats are the originals we didn't do anything with those uh they're fine just the way they are i think door panels could use a little bit of love you probably i don't know probably wrap those with kind of the same material that one's a little bit worse this one's not so bad uh let's look at the tent on the inside so yeah mm -hmm. it's got holes in it we used some duct tape on this and uh yeah that didn't hold but it was a temporary fix so if you ever uh, need to go camping and you want to stay dry that would work i was thinking about maybe just cutting up some canvas or some not canvas some uh tarp like from harbor freight and maybe sewing that in that would work really nice as well but yeah that's uh that's what the interior of the tarp looks like right there it's not bad and it's got the two beds that fold out i'm not going to fold them out because they're a pain this one 
the has all the cloth material but it's it's weak i tried to get up there once and it started to tear so it needs to be redone this one has none of the cloth material on it but it, it folds out makes your cot need some new uh canvas on that one you get the bear the table is the original uh we didn't do anything didn't change anything there all original there and we'll have a look at the tarp on the outside really good as you can see you know most stuff is in good shape but it has been patched up there's a little hole there but uh the mice got into this if they hadn't it would still be really solid because the rest of it's in good shape it's not crumbling or anything it's it's super solid okay back again to the engine compartment i'll just go ahead and fire it up real quick and uh, we'll listen to it run uh, just to prove that it does run but i'm making horrible noises but it is missing out because of that bad gas i mean we got some bad gas in here definitely So that's just a quick sound bite for you it needs some new plugs I pulled the plugs out and they were uh, they were a mess kind of just soak them in gas and scrape them off a little bit but that old nasty varnish gas it just keeps circulating through there I mean there's probably there might be some sediment in the tank even I don't know but uh, that tank that tank should be replaced I'd replace the tank if I were you because uh, it is nasty inside of there but i mean that is basically it it's a good project it will move it will run it'll drive it moves on its own a little bit of tinkering probably one good weekend left and it's going to go down the road a new tank some fresh plugs uh, maybe a gasket here and there I don't know I mean it doesn't seem to leak any oil but you know check everything out real good fresh tires definitely fresh tires F tires I don't know how old they are but they're starting to dry rot they hold air just fine and I have driven it down the road without any problems but tires definitely it's got some play in the steering wheel too but only about two inches so yeah, a little bit of front end work too anyway a good start to something that's going to be really nice no longer a project uh sorry no longer a parts vehicle now a project bus so the price you're asking what is the price of this well six thousand five hundred dollars is what i'm going to put on marketplace tell me that you saw this video and you're a subscriber to street right garage and i'm gonna knock five hundred dollars off so this video gets you $500 off, $6,000. It's gonna go on Marketplace probably this weekend at $6,500. So the person that's not a subscriber, they're gonna pay $6,500. You pay $6,000. So you wanna buy it, just hit me up. Leave me a message below. I always check them, all of them. Until next time.